Millie, you guys gonna help me water the garden? Well, they were just here. Uh, welcome to the channel, guys. We're gonna do something a little different here. We might do this once a week. I don't know. But I'm gonna just have a little garden watering chat so you can water the garden with me. See the progress. We'll do this once a week. See the progress of uh, the tomatoes and everything else. See what's doing good. See what's doing bad. Then maybe at the end we'll go check out the puppies. Uh, hey, barbecued me out some chicken today. Check that out. Just an old cheap Weber-like grill. I say Weber-like. Because when I clicked on it on Amazon, it said Weber. But that's not what I got. But it's good enough. And then I went back and looked, and somehow they did the bait and switch on me. You know how they do. All right, I'm going to strap this camera on. We'll get to watering. All right, here we go. Let me switch that dude, switch that dude. These are shark bite uh, fixtures, faucet fixtures. Man, are these nice. Very, what did I do? Have the water left on all day? No, okay. Yeah, I had to go pass out hot dogs before I could start here because they were going nuts. Now, let me set that up there. Let's get my hose. Ow! Get you guys aimed right. All right. I'm going to start on this end. Let me make sure you guys are adjusted all right. Put this on the shower. Let's see, we got cilantro. And we got dill. Wow, that dill has shot up. I think the rest of them in the middle are weeds. There we go. I haven't wore this chest strap in a while. A lot of the stuff that I planted from seed just did not come up. It was too late in the year. And uh, I thought the Asia, or yeah, the Thai basil was coming up. No, just weeds. That is a ghost pepper. This was supposed to be all hot peppers of different varieties, but nope. And you're not really supposed to plant them, you know, like a hot pepper or a ghost pepper. You don't want to plant that with jalapenos that cross pollinate. Yeah. And that one ain't doing every the ones I bought last week in the stores and planted it with the exceptions of the uh, bell peppers they're not doing well if you can you know grow your own starch you're much better off now every other day they get a heavy watering and then they get a light watering today they, we had rain last night a couple of times but it's been hot today so they're just going to get a light watering today. Yeah, that ought to be good. Let me explain the mulch. Uh, I see a lot of people, they don't use mulch, but I'm going to tell you what it does. Number one, it retains the moisture, you know, in the bed. It keeps that water, you know, it just keeps it from drying up faster. Also, especially with tomatoes, you can just spray right, you know, you can put it on, spray as hard on there as you want. And it's not gonna splash dirt on the plant. Splashing dirt on a tomato plant is very bad. You do not want dirt to hit the leaves. Okay, we're gonna put that back on shower. Over here, we got a cabbage. That seems to be doing well. Never really had any success with that. Another dill. Just a light one. These don't take much. Jalapeno. Parsley. Jalapeno, I think. Basil. I can see the basil in there. Right there. Cilantro. Wow. Look at this. We got radishes. Give them a few more days. Dudes be ready to put in my belly. <laughs> And sage. Herbs don't require as much water as 
the rest of the stuff. That's good enough. Now, let's come on over here. Let's start on the tomatoes. These are the, probably the best year I've ever had with tomatoes. And I didn't start them. The neighbor did, so I hope she brings them to me every year, man. It's been an awesome growing season. All right, let me grab the flies and everything have just been awful today. I have pretty much stayed inside. There's, I think that's time. That stuff don't need much water. That grew all winter with no water. I never watered any of it. All right, look at them tomatoes. Like I said, today is, oh, the gnats are tearing me up. Stop it. See how I'm just shooting that in there and it's not splashing on nothing. Yeah, I went around yesterday and cut off all the yellow leaves. Yeah, there's still some on there. Cut some of the bottom ones off. All right, yeah, cooked out some barbecued chicken today. That's the only way I really eat chicken and it was all legs you can't buy like a at least here you can't go in and get the variety pack it's all packaged in legs or thighs or breasts so i just went with legs and there was not much meat on them me and rooster were sitting there begging the whole time this has been an absolute perfect growing season so far that is a late plant there. That is a cherry tomato. So I'm moving around a lot, guys. It's because there's a lot of bugs. The puppies play saw uh, them poor things. They had so many flies. I'm going to go get some uh, fly bait tomorrow. And I'm not going to put it close to them. I'm itching. But I'm going to try to pull some of them out. I did hang some fly strips. Within an hour, they were full. So, I mean... Anything that reduced the amount of them. I try to keep keep it scooped in there, you know, poop scoop. Look at that dude. Way above the top. Yeah, there's some dead leaves up in there I need to get off. And what else happened? Oh, that big burn pile I had, it's gone. I said it would probably burn two weeks, three days completely gone not only that that one pile of uh, wood I had on the side of the driveway completely gone been busy look at them tomatoes yeah and the nights so you need like 70 degrees at night for them to ripen so if you ever have trouble where they're not ripening that's because it's too hot at night and that shouldn't happen about anywhere, but it did last year. So we're getting into the 60s uh, at nighttime. I also got some uh, miracle Grow. You can see those little granules in there. miracle Grow, Magical stuff. And you can see that in the pot, see the black spots and the white spots? Well, the black spots, I think, are the moisture. You can see where it's drying out. I don't know how good the GoPro will pick this up. You can see it change. That's the nice thing about these light colored containers. That's why I was wanting all, or I'm sorry, it's the opposite. The white is the water. And you can see it's getting more white. Now one thing I like about this year's garden, all I need is a 25 foot hose and it'll reach all of it. No need to hook that big, long 100-footer up. 50-footer, I think it was. Yeah, I am really happy with this year's garden. I hope it continues. I got to start clearing my freezer out because I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to make some salsa. Or it still didn't get up on the canning like I've been planning to. I need to learn that with the puppies that changed a lot of what I was planning 
Yeah, let's go on up in here. Don't get up in these maters with me. Tomato, there's tomatoes on all of them. And today, I ordered some microphones. Uh, some of the videos, some spots, it's hard to hear me. So I've got some wireless microphones coming. I ordered a new uh, case that my GoPros will fit in. Not the, not the GoPro Media Mod. That thing was a piece of junk. I hated it. I think I gave that to Drew. Uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a lot cooler than the Media Mod. And it'll allow me to plug in microphones and the microphone adapters so my video should be a little i think that comes next week so you should be able to hear me very well especially when i'm mumbling to myself where you going millie he's going on the back deck and there are several different varieties in here <laughs> what they are or where they're at i have no clue I see there's a better boy. They're, they're, they came with popsicle sticks. I got them all mixed up. You know me. I just, I'm surprised when it comes. That's all. A tomato's a tomato. I love them all. I don't discriminate on my maters. All right. I didn't have enough cages, so I've got some steaks. Got them tied up. Those work well, whatever you want to do, but I prefer the cages. But they went up this year and I would refuse to pay what they were asking. So we'll just stake. There's like four of them, three or four of them that don't have a cage. And we got a chance to like pop up thunderstorms every day this week. And it's only happened once, that was yesterday. So that's why I don't go overboard with the watering. And you can go a couple of days without watering, but you know, when it's getting 85, 90 degrees, you need to give them something. I also play music for my tomatoes. Yeah, studies have shown that helps. They like country music, they don't like rock. You gotta play something easy going. They might like blues, I don't know. But I'll plug the, I'll put the radio on for a couple hours in the evening. Or the Alexa. I'm trying to say it quiet. Let's move forward. There's a batch of majors. Don't splash my GoPro. But man, can't ask for a better spring. What do we got? Another two weeks of spring. It has been incredible. Other than the bugs. Which really, up until the last few days, they haven't been bad. And this is as far as my hose reaches, but I can get everything with it. Plant. Until, until these tomatoes get too tall. And then I'm going to probably have to hook up the bigger one. Alright, you can see that's a different type of tomato there, uh, let me think for a minute, I think that's a slicer, they were smaller and fatter than your regular, I may have the tag in there, I doubt it though, I don't count on it, what do I got, a knot in my hose, that never happens, come on man, Good Lord, in the name of uh, the Keebler Elves. Oh. oh, man. Where was I? That one's like, nope, I ain't growing as fast as the others, but I'm going to be tastier. Yeah, I can already see I'm going to have to hook that bigger hose up because I can't, the leaves are getting in my way. Right. But that's what's nice about that mulch you can just spray it full force no dirt gets splashed 
insects and weeds don't like it as much. You see there's still some clover and whatever coming up. A lot of that was in that manure pile back there. All right, flies, leave me alone. All right, and that over there is a, it's called green okra. It's doing very well. Just planted that the other day. I could have waited a little bit to come out and water, but I didn't. I still don't remember. I think there's some kind of bell peppers there. I don't remember, man. They're peppers, all right? They're just peppers. We'll see when they happen. Oh, I'm dancing a jig here, keeping the bugs off me. The mosquitoes are horrible. All right. Uh, I don't remember what that is. Them more radishes, I think they're gone. This is spaghetti squash right here. Ooh, but he needs more mulch in there. That's going to take off here real soon. I got a late start on those. Hopefully I train it to go up this trellis. And that's what's left of the watermelon. It's going to sit like that for the rest of the year. I'm not even going to bother watering it. That is Clemson okra back there. Alright. And over here and there's the wildflowers. I don't know if, don't know if they're going to... There are some in there coming up. But probably planted them too late. Give them a drink. A lot of weeds coming up. And that white stuff you see in there, that's eggshells. Usually I pulverize them a little better. Alright. I believe that is it. Go over here. And that way I can turn on the dog's air conditioner back on. Their room is the coolest in the house. Yeah. Alright. And this over here, I only water this about every two or three days. We've got sage and cilantro or uh yeah, I never can think of that. Yeah, oregano. But this is sage in here. That is some good looking stuff this year. Good looking stuff. And this is the oregano. Oh god, does that smell good. Hey, a real ladybug. And that is uh parsley <laughs> yep these grew all winter didn't water them or nothing and just i mean they never died it wasn't like they came back they never died they stayed green through all the bad weather everything all right let's go take a look at these puppies oh i shouldn't i don't really don't want to mess with them show you that pile what are you puppies doing well there's miss oreo yeah they don't care they can rest anytime you guys are looking much better much better now that you've had the next guard they also had their heartworm oh yeah all the fur Your furs are looking good shiny willie you're like the dog of many colors you are and there's Lu Lulu. No, yeah, there's Lulu. Where's Lucy? There's Miss Lucy. Yeah, that's Miss Lucy. That's Dirty Nose. That's Lulu. That's Mr. Willie. And of course, Oreo. You guys are looking much better. Much better. You got your water all. You got food in your water. How did you do that, Dirty Nose? It's always you. Yeah. Hey right, guys, look down there. Could you believe that great big pile has burnt up? It has. It is gone. Just one little chunk left. And then all of this 
is gone. All of it. I'm going to come in here with a mower tomorrow, mulch all this up. Then I'm going to hook my truck up to those stumps. That's old privet. I'm gonna, they're ready to pull out. I'm going to pull them out, level that all out, and I'll have a nice strip of grass here to mow. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll just call it water and Wednesdays. We'll do it on Wednesday. What do you think of that? Sounds good to me. Waddles is still up, but he's cranky today. Those morning doves keep getting in there. They're stupid. They're stupid, I tell you. Now, I just let them find their way out somehow. They do. All right, guys. Happy trails. See you later.